Good morning, Clark again with Utah Pool Guy, teaching you how to take care of your pool with the manual vac. This goes inside your skimmer. Also inside your skimmer is a basket that gets leaves and debris. And when you're, when you're vacuuming the pool, if there's any big rocks or anything, it's going to get caught in this basket. Basket goes in, you latch this over to get it to lock inside the skimmer. When you're installing this in your skimmer, you want to make sure that you put the small end up because the big end, you can't hook the hose on it. Put the hose on it it's going to go down inside your, your basket. First you have to put this inside the basket. Then you want to feed the hose in from the pool side. Bringing it up, making a loop. The reason for putting the loop is so that the, the hose doesn't get kinked going out to the pool area. Next thing you want to do is put this hose out. It's a good thing to take this hose when they're brand new like this one is and lay it out alongside the yard somewhere and let the sun bake it. It'll take all the curl out of it if you keep it straight. Otherwise, you're always fighting the curl in the hose. I like to get all the water out of the hose. So I will take this off. I will suck on the hose to fill the hose full of water. Put this back in. Make sure you have a loop. Plug it back on the inside the skimmer. This hose hooks onto your manual vac. You need to make sure that you use the right side for which what you're doing. This shows the vacuum on here. This also swivels. That's the end that goes on to your vacuum, your manual vacuum. Next thing you need to do, you need to install the, the pole onto the manual vac. Then you want to put the manual vac down inside the pool. Next thing we need to do is we need to adjust our equipment so that we're going to get proper vacuuming, vacuum pressure coming through the skimmer for the manual vac to work. It's also important to note that you've got to have the water level up high enough inside the skimmer so that you have water in here so you're not pulling air through your skimmer. Now you need to set the equipment. We set our pools up with a skimmer, a vacuum, and a bottom drain. A lot of pool companies don't put bottom drains anymore because it costs too much time, takes too much effort. We do bottom drains so that you can pull the warm or pull the cold water off the bottom of the pool and heat it. So when you get in the pool, the temperature of the water is all the same. Since we're not going to be using the vacuum port at this time, we're going to use that for the automa automatic vacuum. You just simply turn this closed. Since we're going to be pulling water through the skimmer, we want to have as much pressure as we can coming through the skimmer. So we're going to partially shut the bottom drains down creating more of a vacuum on the bottom of the vacuum to pull all the dirt and debris through the skimmer, through the sand filter, and back to the pool. Making sure our return is all the way open so that we have proper water circulation going back into the pool. You'll notice the dirt and debris in the bottom of the pool up on the vanishing ledge. You simply take this and start to vacuum back and forth. Noticing how it's simple and easy, it pulls all the dirt and debris off of the vanishing pool ledge. It 
The other thing to notice is whenever I manually vacuum, I vacuum from the opposite side of the skimmer so that I'm not fighting the hose while I'm vacuuming the pool. You can also increase suction on the vacuum. The way we set up our pools, Auxiliary 2 in the Easy Touch control system has a high speed for the pump to work faster for vacuuming as well as for water feature toys. To vacuum the safety ledge, you just line it up, you go up and down, move it a couple inches at a time along the safety ledge. Safety ledge is really important to have in a pool so that you can have a safe place for people to swim over to. It's three foot deep. Most people can swim to it and get out of the side of the pool as needed. If your hose comes off, you want to get it hooked back on as quick as you can because the hose will pull air all the way into your pump. The pumps will automatically turn off. If you have air in the pump, they're relatively easy to get the pump to work again. You want to make sure that you get this plug back on. Again, you have to do it underwater. Trying to keep the end of the hose in the water is very important to do. Now we're gonna take this out of the skimmer. We have to disconnect the flat piece that makes it work in the skimmer. Pull the hose out. Make sure you put your lid back on also. Look at the leaves and debris that we picked up while we were vacuuming. Make sure you put the lid back on so somebody doesn't step in the hole and trip and have a problem. And now you've completed vacuuming your pool manually.